In this experiment, we investigated changes in the rate of cellular respiration. Our research question was, how does the type of seed and temperature affect the rate of cellular respiration in an organism? Our independent variables were the seed type and temperature. For seed type, we measured germinating versus non-germinating seeds with glass beads as our control. For temperature, we carried out two experiments, one at 10 degrees and one at 25 degrees. Our dependent variable was the pressure change in KPA. Some control variables included the amount of KOH used, amount of cotton used, volume of the seeds and beads, and the time. The reason why we kept the cotton and volume constant is because it would directly impact the pressure, which is what we're measuring. Shown here is the equation PV equals NRT. According to this equation, if volume changes, pressure changes too, which is why volume must be kept constant among all trials. Shown here is the equation for cellular respiration. Notice how the coefficients of O2 and CO2 are equal, meaning that as oxygen is consumed, equal moles of carbon dioxide are being produced. This means that the overall moles of gas would theoretically stay the same, keeping the pressure the same as well. We can lower the pressure by adding KOH, which reacts with CO2 to produce solid K2CO3. Now the moles of gas will be decreasing as CO2 is formed by cellular respiration and subsequently precipitated into K2CO3. Once again, referring back to PV equals NRT, this would cause the pressure to change. Here is a graph of the corrected difference in pressure change measured in KPA versus time measured in minutes. We can see that the control groups, the ones with only beads, experience virtually no difference in KPA. This is expected as since beads don't respirate, there should theoretically be no difference in KPA. However, the 10 degree beads experience a slight increase in KPA. One possible reason could be that the beads might not have been maintained at 10 degrees the whole experiment and allowed to come to room temperature. The increased temperature would increase the pressure according to PV equals NRT. The 25 degree beads, on the other hand, decrease slightly in pressure. One reason for this is could be that some gas leaked out of the test tube, lowering the pressure of the system. Another observation that can be made about this data is while comparing the same type of seed, the 25 degree one experienced a greater decrease in pressure than the 10 degree one, meaning that the 25 degree seeds undergo cellular respiration at a faster rate. This can be attributed to higher temperatures increasing average kinetic energy, which increases collision frequency and subsequently enzymatic activity and rate of catalysis. Finally, the non germinating seeds decrease very slightly in pressure compared to the germinating seeds whose pressure decreased substantially. This means that germinating seeds respire a lot more than non-germinating seeds. This can be attributed to the fact that germinating seeds need a lot more energy compared to non-germinating seeds as they have to fulfill the steep energy demands brought upon by mitosis. On the other hand, non-germinating seeds have evolved to be dormant using minimal energy during this period. This way they can conserve energy while waiting out unfavorable periods in time, waiting for good environmental conditions to start germinating. Overall, this lab shows how germinating pea seeds differ from non-germinating pea seeds in their rates of cellular respiration, while also showing how temperature affects the rate as well. Germinating pea seeds respire at a significantly increased rate, and an increased temperature increases the rate as well. Thank you.